All right, guys, we're out here back again, we're just getting the right collar situated. And uh, for Andy Montgomery, Andy Montgomery, guys, it's temperatures dropped like 20, 30 degrees overnight, and it is freezing cold again. Practice today's canceled, and they're moving it, moving the practice schedule up. But uh, we got Jordan Lee, Jacob Wheeler right behind him. They're going to get their headshots and uh, just again out here freezing, <laughs> helping some anglers out. You know it's bad <laughs> when your Airbnb lady calls you and says, "Hey, make sure you drip drip the uh, faucet tonight so the pipes don't freeze." I'm like what the heck? <laughs> Uh, having a bunch of fun helping out the anglers again definitely go check out the Navlite Power 6 they are absolutely amazing now you don't have to go back change your regular old Navlite and then put a power stick in now you can just have it all in one so again use code CUB at checkout save up to 28% and free shipping hi guys wake, welcome to the West Monroe Civic Center and this is where they make English famous here no I'm just kidding they're taking pictures of famous things with all their goodie bags They've got all the photos set up in there. I will. Have a free rate roll. Unreal. Jacob, what's going on, man? Good to see you, bud. Hi, good to see you. On? Absolutely, yeah. man. We're out here just having fun. What about an yeah, otter, son? Very good. Very good. Now, what are you up to, man? And not, not a whole lot. Just grabbing everything, getting everything ready for the season, Getting your man. swag. That's exactly what yep. it is. This is hard work, guys. <laughs> but, uh... Hopefully in the next couple days, we won't be here the entire event. We'll be heading off to the Elite Series event. So we'll be here to take off days one and two for groups A and B. Or no, just take off for A and then take off B, right? Take off B, done. Yeah, so we won't even be here for the knockout round or anything. So um, just gonna keep the travel vlog going. Um, all the anglers are coming in, a lot of them. So the thing with this early season tournament is a lot of the anglers don't have their new jerseys, their new wraps on, so they're not able to, the Major League Fishing isn't able to get their headshots because they're, they're just going to do it at the next event when the anglers have their correct jerseys and correct wraps and all that. So the really cool stuff you see on the website and on their app, um, you know, that's all done at this first event, first or second event, depending on when the anglers get their stuff in. So just a little tidbit of information there, but um, just out here freezing. And Christian is currently freezing, freezing, and yeah, putting a uh, Timmy Horton's brand new Navlite power stick on. So how do you like that? Somehow, I guess Christian got poison ivy. <laughs> hey, so. I can get poison ivy if the wind's blowing. I get poison ivy. Hmm. When I was a kid, I was a uh, Boy Scout, and I would rub poison ivy on me. I had uh, bulletproof skin. Four Scouts all rubbed it. They all got poison ivy. I never got it. Then I went to the Navy, went to Tennessee. They got poison oak. Stay away from poison oak in Tennessee, because now I'm allergic for the rest of my life. Hey, the more you know about Christian, <laughs> I'm in the back door. I'm going in the back door. Well, don't say that in public. All right, let's get Jacob the van, Wheeler everyone. set up. We're getting Jacob Wheeler's order. Brody is camera guy. Sent Brody in an the order. most amazing. Okay, he needs. All right, guys. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the sun. All right, guys, takeoff is over. Hopefully, I got some good footage. I know I got some good photos, but it is currently. 8.50, so everyone's taken off and everything. Um, got all the anglers checked in on and got their power sticks running. We're gonna, Christian and I are gonna make some house calls to some anglers and then help them out with some stuff. Guys, there's still like ice on the puddles behind me. Like it is still super cold, but um, got my Buck and Bass Oroville sweater on or got my puffy on, so staying nice and warm. One really cool thing, also got to see Dakota Ebear's first um, inaugural takeoff on the Bass Pro Tour, so that was really cool. Him being a Tarleton State alumni, um, you know, I, I just thought that was super cool. Been working my whole life for this dude, just freaking excited, ready to go. You can't get too worked up though, you just gotta go fishing, you know? Yeah. All right, that's better. Some sunglasses on, now I'm not squinting. So, we just saw Dave Lefebvre, and uh, I'll insert, insert some pictures here, but he actually caught a chain pickerel 
right in front of us. So that was, I mean, cool for us to watch him catch something, but I guess really bad for him because it wasn't a bass, it wasn't a scoreable fish. And I was surprised, I didn't even know pickerel were in lakes in Louisiana, and he was surprised because he, did, he didn't even know that there were pickerel in these lakes. Um, but currently, I believe Mark Daniels Jr. is leading by two pounds, sitting at nine pounds something, and right behind him is Jeremy Lawyer and Shin, Shin Fukai's up there. Um, but it's turning out to be a lot better than some of the anglers expected. Um, MDJ, I got a little insider information, and uh, cameraman um, cameraman Brett for uh, he's DC's cameraman. He said that MDJ only had four, three, three or four total bites yesterday. So um, he's already got four fish in the boat now. So he is ahead of pace for what I believe is the rest of the field. I think. Um, thinking around 16 will be the cut line and then 21 ish might win it over this period and then I think it's gonna go up uh, about two or three pounds for tomorrow tomorrow's group but you know we'll see we're headed back into West Monroe right now uh, I'm gonna Going go to Waffle show. House going to the boat show I'm gonna see may, hope maybe do some like product demo stuff for some people um, with the power sticks so that would be pretty cool um, but we're gonna go. Uh, I, I don't know if any of the Group B anglers will be there, uh, just because their practice gate, their practice day got pushed into today. So it, originally, what happens is when Group A is fishing, Group B will be at the show, and then when Group B goes, Group A will be on there because normally they do get two full days of practice. So we're gonna go to Waffle House, get some food, and then see what happens. Hey. What's going on? Man, welcome to the West Monroe Boat Show at the Civic Center. Pretty cool. We thought it was gonna be a little thing. It's a big thing, check this out. I, I think there's a whole nother, like, that one we went into yesterday, I think there's more things in there too. It's crazy. What a great boat show. Look at all the people that wanna get out on the water. <laughs> Good, good, good to see you. Yes, sir. You too. What's going on? Huh? Look, look what the cat drug is. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Stage one, who's going to take Should it? Should I tell you who's going to take it? Okay, listen up, guys. This is who's going to win. Now, I can't tell you. It'll mess up your whole fantasy. <laughs> Fixing to get Randy dumped in here. I'm gonna dump him in, go park his truck, come back. I'm gonna run from the far lot and then get back over here for pictures for takeoff. Good luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, guys, that wasn't too bad. Look at that. I didn't do too bad. Tied up. Literally, I got. Mic pack with another battery pack in here. Got a battery pack right there. <laughs> you got a yellow tech stick in the back. Sitting there, gonna have a real good hot. We got we raised it up a little bit. We're gonna get a little bit different feature this morning. Sweet, sweet. Sort of just you know a little combination of it all. You got it. You got to be ready. You got to be ready to get out here. Always filming. Always trying to capture that one moment. We're just trying to reel some in. And it's not easy out here on Lake Darbo. I'm telling you that. So we're gonna. We're gonna you better. You better. You better reel if you do get a bite. You better make sure you count, that's for sure. So, we were almost stranded on the road. We uh, looked down at the gas gauge and boom. Always be recording and always be filling your tank up with gas. <laughs> Guys, so we are at the gas station. Mississippi. Mississippi, so. Welcome to Mississippi, This -S -S. is our first stop, one of probably two-ish, maybe three, depending on if we count food and gas and all that. So we're here in Mississippi, finished up at the Bass Pro Tour. So we were only there for days one, uh, Group A and Group Two, um, or sorry, we were only there for Group A and then Group B takeoffs day one. Um, unfortunately, we have to head, well, I guess we get to head to the Bassmaster Elite Series over in the, uh, so this is our first stop, uh, probably a couple, maybe two or three to get gas, eat dinner and all that. We're gonna get in around 1.30. Um, in the morning, we're here to stop to take a pee break, fill up with gas. We're headed to the Bassmaster Elite Series in Plaquita, Florida. Like I said, hopefully it's going to be a lot warmer than it is now. It's heated up quite a bit. It's around the 50s or so. 
Um, but I guess I'm taking my camera into the restroom because Christian locked the door. So um, I'll give you another update once I go to the restroom because I really need to go. But um, I'll see you in a second here. All right, what's going on, guys? It is currently 2.40 in the morning. We just made it to the Airbnb, and this place is absolutely massive. I'm going to be doing a little tour of the thing in the morning, but I'm going to get some sleep because I am pretty... Eh, not super tired. I had two Red Bulls. I found the Dragon Fruit, which were the summer edition, and I haven't had them, and I was kind of addicted to them. They're super good, super tasty. I had two of them on the drive here, um, so I did drive a little bit, but made it here safe and sound. Christian is ready to crash, like ready to crash. He puts his head down, out, guaranteed. Um, but this place, absolutely amazing. Like, it's got two bed, two bath, massive kitchen, massive like sitting rooms like they literally have enough sitting rooms to put two more normal bedrooms in which is really weird but we'll do a whole tour in the morning but just want to let y'all know made it safe made it sound and i'll see you in the morning <laughs> 